All right, you guys. God bless you. Welcome to This Is It for the Fire Guys. Um, so I'm going to try and do shorter videos and just I'm not going to try and do an hour and a half or anything like that because when I get attacked on this stuff and I, I lose two and three hours in the dumpster, I can't handle it. It's too much of a overload. I'm going to do three separate things tonight, three separate videos, hopefully. Okay, this is number one. First thing we're going to talk about is notice how they just keep plugging the tanks, 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 tanks. It doesn't matter if they send one tank over there. You know why? Because what they're doing just by saying tanks, 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 all going over to Europe is that's the plausible deniability for what's already printed on your $100 bill and your $10 bill. You guys have seen it. There's a $10 bill. There's a tidal wave covering your seven-story building right here on the $10 bill. It's already done in advance for you, waiting for you, because they know they're going to do it. There's a $10 bill. That's a tidal wave right here coming over the seven-story building. Here's another example of it over here. Here's a rendition of just coloring it in so it's easy for your perception. Here's the $100 bill. There's three layers of ink. Here's the first layer. There the buildings are. Here's the devouring wind coming and devouring the building. And then there's the nuke just wiping out the buildings. Okay, it's printed on your U U.S. currency. Guess what else was printed on your U.S. currency? That was printed on your U.S. currency. The $20 bill with the Twin Tower bombing on the $20 bill. It was already printed on your U.S. currency now. And just in case anyone doesn't believe it, let me enlarge the screen right here and just show you a bill that's in my hand. There's a Twin Tower bombing printed on the $20 bill way before the bombing happened because Satan knew he was going to do it. How do I know Satan knew he was going to do it? Because you just have to trace around that bill and connect the vertices. And there you go. See, that's who's doing it. Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord... They turn everything upside down, and this is who the world really is. The world is really Satan. The angel of the bottomless pit, the flesh is his, and that's what the Lord let me prove by showing you Parthenogenesis over here with the Vatican being a snake, audience hall being a snake, and they've been destroying the angels in secret since the beginning of time. Here you go. Ready, guys? Let's do this. Here's what they're, here's what they're saying. They're saying, oh, all these tanks are going. I've done, I've done videos on it. All these countries, 13 countries are sending tanks, everybody. They're sending tanks. Well, they don't even have to send one tank, not one, because they've got the whole world knowing they're sending tanks. If the bombings and the tidal wave and the destruction of New York are already printed on U.S. currency notes, the same as the Twin Towers was printed on the U.S. currency notes and the Federal Building, it's going to happen. So they didn't go to the trouble of printing the images on the money. Satan didn't without him going to do it. That's why he did it. That's why he prints it on the money before he does it. Because he's the divining serpent. The mouthpiece, right? The divining serpent. Vatican. Isn't that fascinating? The divining serpent. Yep. So anyway, so he's making the future happen according to his will, is what he's doing, using the host body system as a puppet system. But the Lord God is over and above in charge of all of it, beyond that. Now, ready? Look how they're front loading you. One of my subscribers sent this to me a while back, and I've just, I've had so much stuff pile up on me, I can't get to everything, but this is a great one. Watch this. Here is Putin talking about the Poseidon, or talking about the outcome of what's what's going to happen. Here it is. Watch. Дальше Okay, so they're talking about nukes. Тренировки привлекаются. Подвижный грунтовый ракетный комплекс ракетных войск стратегического назначения Ярс, ракетная подводная лодка стратегического назначения Северного флота Тула, два стратегических ракетоносца дальней авиации Ту-95МС. 
Okay, so let's just move on from that and let me just show you this real quick. Here's how they here's how the enemy speaks in public right in front of you. This is it. This is a excellent catch. I saw this uh a while back and I, I passed it up and then someone sent it to me. So the Poseidon torpedoes are due to be delivered on the special purpose nuclear-powered submarine Belgrade report in Russian state TV. That's what we're watching. Okay, and it says that it will be capable of causing a 500 meter, which is 1,640 feet high, tidal wave of radioactive seawater and put Britain in the depths of the sea. What about New York? Could it put New York in the depths of the sea? Well, let me show you real quick. It sure could. Because it's printed on your money. It's not only is the tidal wave printed on your $10 bill, it's printed on your $100 bill as well. Now, just to make it even more annoying, watch this. It said 500 meters, the number 500 in the Bible is Antichrist. The one who puts himself in the place of, or the enemy, the opponent of Christ. So the Antichrist is the opponent of Christ. And 1,640 just happens to mean to sweep away. Just try and wrap your brain around that. So in this article, 500 means Antichrist, and this means to sweep away. Well, what's it talking about? A tidal wave of radioactive material or seawater. Now, wouldn't that just sweep everybody away? Do you think it's even remotely possible that those are the numbers they plugged? It's not even possible. But there they are. It's no different than iRobot. I've shown you their language. They speak right open in the open, and they use a number to delineate a word out of the Bible because every word in the Bible has a number, and they know it. Because they are Elohim. There you go. Okay, so anyway, so now let me just show you a couple examples of what's going on. And this is fascinating. So another subscriber left this. This is a Dr. Pepper commercial. Let's watch it, and then let me show you what they're telling you. By Dr. Pepper. A Category 5 wave has broken containment from the stadium and is heading straight for Fansville. A tsunami wave? No. Something is coming. Oh, no. It's the wave. I refuse to participate in this. The wave? What is this, the 80s? <laughs> Next season. Make sure there's Dr. Pepper in there. Prepare to cheer. Dr. Pepper, the one fan. The one fans deserve, and the one fans deserve is the one that's coming to take over this whole system, which is Satan through the host body system. Let me show you what's in this commercial. All right, so we saw that the numbers that they plugged mean 1640 means to sweep away. Does that look like a tidal wave that would sweep everything away if it ran along the coastline? Uh, 1,640 feet, that's pretty big uh, for them to plug that number. I, I've seen tidal, other tidal waves. I don't think a tidal wave is going to ever get that high, but whatever. Anyway, so 1,640, it means, and just see it again, it means to sweep away. So you can't make this stuff up. Okay, then let me show you what else is in that commercial. Okay, again, I, I've told you and I've shown you and I've tried to give you guys examples. That, I'm sorry, this is so... I just want to grab the other team and just like, we've caught you. You're caught. Y'all are caught. <laughs> it's like they're caught. Watch this. Ready? It's just so annoying. Okay, 61 means hunting a catch. See, hunting, number 61. See it? Again, I hope that I've given you enough proof to show you that the Lord God has allowed me to read their language. It's a language. It's another race of beings, guys. Watch this. In the commercial, they're running from the wave. Now, remember, five and five, right? His purpose was to make one new man from the two, male and female energy, by converting you, inverting you. How many times have I shown you that made manifest in public? I'm going to show it to you some more. Okay. When, it, when they're turning, the girl's got number five on her back. He's turning around. See right here, 6A? 
They put that there for a reason. Everything that's in a video, and I've done production where I was doing Vlad Eye, where everything that's in your shot for your commercials, you know exactly what's in it because you have to put it there. If you're going to shoot a commercial, you're shooting a commercial, and everything that's in the commercial, you provided to put there so you could photograph it. <laughs> so they put six and they put A there. They didn't just walk by some guy's shop and say, hey, do you mind if we just shoot this right here? No, no, this is done by them. 6A, see it? 6, what's A? 1, what's 61? Hunting, A catch. So here comes this big wave. Here, here comes this big wave. And in this big wave, watch. Six one and remember there's five on female, five on male. And they're cutting out and watch this. They get to the end of it and this guy, what's on his chest? Look on his chest. Look at the right side up, upside down triangle interlocking. The same thing as the transmutation circle, the dead center of the hendecagram. And remember what I showed you? At the top of the hendecagram, you have opposing triangles going opposite directions. You know, like the Batusi, just like the Batusi going opposite directions in a circle and then they come together and they make a point and they make an X. So if two opposing triangles go opposite directions in a circular motion, when they come together, let me show you what they make. Let me show you exactly what they make when they come together. For those of y'all that know my Statue of Liberty stuff, you know that the Statue of Liberty standing on top of a necrogram, it represents all his body. I've shown you the system. I've shown you the way they communicate. It's just two opposing triangles going opposite directions in a circle, the hendecogram, the kelepot. Here it is. Here's the end of it. See the guy standing in front of the door? See the dot in the dead center? He shut the doors. Here it comes. Think of it like, think of the end of the world. The barn has gathered the... The wheat is gathered together and put in the barn. At the end of this commercial, watch. Here it comes. Watch. What is this, the 80s? Oh, huh. Next season. Oh, make sure there's Dr. Okay, see? What, what is he doing? He's closing the door. Ripper in there. Prepare. Okay, to... what's on his chest? The right side up, upside down triangle. What's on? I mean, it's on his hat and it's on his chest. Look. Cheer. See it? There it is. There it is. This is not a commercial. Do you understand? This is no different than Maserati. This is no different than any of the commercials I show you. It's not a commercial for Dr. Pepper. It's an agenda of another ace of beans. That's what it is. Guaranteed. There's no doubt about it. Zero. And then there he is in front of the door. That's just ridiculous. It's not selling Dr. Pepper. It's just an agenda. <laughs> so insane. Uh-huh. There it is. Okay, now the Ruth Vader Ginsburg the Ruth Vader Ginsburg thing. The Ruth Vader Ginsburg. It's not what anyone thought. I've heard people and I'm gonna use a little clip from a guy uh that I got on YouTube. Um just for someone talking, talking about it. it those aren't the horns of a goat. Those are the horns of a ram. A, a male big horn sheep. Her braids, it represents the two races braided together. The, in the word Babylon, it means mixed race braided together. I've shown it to you all through the Bible. The mixed race, it means to braid and to plate together. Plated, braided. Two different seeds braided together. So she's got horns that are in the shape of a big horn sheep because Lucifer said, I will arise above the stars of El. L, the Almighty God, I will be like the Most High. L. It's the female mother goddess claiming to be L. I'm going to prove it because nobody saw what was really going on when they were showing the statue. You want to see what's really on that presentation? It's not the statue so much. If you know your Bible and you know it's a mother goddess taking over the whole system, Anybody that knows anything about theology should know that, yes, this is a mother goddess thing taking over. But it's not a goat. It's a male bighorn sheep with two plated together horns representing the two races that were plated together. And the mother goddess has come up and taken over. That's what it is. And watch. Remember, all, what's the Vatican? A dead sheep, right? 
mouth of the of the of the uh, serpent is a dead sheep, right? Yes or no? Downtown Grand Junction, dead sheep. Hey Johnny, I drew a picture of you, dead sheep. Hola Jonathan, you're like a party, dead sheep. Dead sheep all over the place. I've got a whole folder that shows, hey, honey, I got a card. I'm sorry, I've been such a bitch lately. Uh, here's a card. By the way, sweetie, there's a serpent eating a sheep. Okay, these are real things. They're all in the folders. It's always serpents killing sheep because the serpent race is killing the sheep race. That's what the whole world's about. The serpent race was Genesis 1. The sheep race was Genesis 2. Genesis 3 was a commingling them. And then Genesis 4 was the birth of the twin system, cannibal, cannibal. To cannibalize the male energy in the system. That's why it was twin males. Cannibal, cannibal. Cain and Abel, cannibal. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, let me go there. Hang on. Okay, so let me play this guy's video real quick and let me just say my, my changes I made. So if you'll give me just a moment. Okay, so check this out just briefly. I want you guys to look at the statue right here and let me point something out very you see the side of the face? That is wearing a mask. He's wearing a mask. It is not a regular face. The look at look at the rest of the sculpture on the guy. You see? Right here they the sculpture made sure that he's wearing a mask instead of doing his face like the rest of the sculpture. Pay attention. A strange statue has been set upon a New York courthouse, and the name of the statue is now. It is the name of the statue is now. <laughs> you know why? Because it's happening now. A golden woman with goat horns coming. Those are not goat horns. Those are big horn sheep. It's a big horn sheep. It's saying that the female mother goddess has taken over with the two braided horns, taken over the host body system, and has become El, the Almighty God. The name for the Almighty God is a ram. Uh, a palaster, like a, a support, a ram, a bit like a big horn sheep. There she is as a big horn sheep taking over. Coming out of a lotus, and it is supposedly in honor of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, one of the most notorious pro-choice. Okay, so there is the statue. Let me show you what's on the statue because what's on it is the thing that's most important. All right, so I'm going to make this very, try and make it super easy for you. There you go. <laughs> you see the, she, the the head of the sheep, the eye being right here. There's the nose. There's the open mouth. There's under the neck. There's the ear. And there's the top of the head. Now, all I've done is very lightly pencil that in for you. I want you just to look at it. Now, here's the other thing. It's either a yes or no. Do you think that the Lord's given me the ability to see past what the normal person sees? Uh, that's how I knew the Vatican was a snake and the largest altar in the world was a dead sheep. Because the Lord lets me see it. I'm the eyes of the body of Christ. The eyes. I, that's what he showed me. You are the eyes. Okay, so you're going to have to either believe that I can see that's a sheep, no problem. Or you'll have to look at it yourself, because I'm going to show it to you with no drawing on it. But I just want to pencil it in for you first. You see the sheep right here? That's a sheep. There is the eye. Once you identify the eye, just look at this guy's ear. Is that a human ear? Just take a look at it right now. And then when you look at it, now tell me, does this part of the statue, look at the neck. Does the neck go with the face at all or is the face a mask the face is a mask because see satan's been wearing a mask the whole time it's called the host body system let us make man in our image the word image is illusion representative figure especially an idol told you so <laughs> and here it is right in front of you he's wearing a mask with a dead sheep on his head because the whole thing's an illusion to birth what's right next to him the golden female ram that is taking over. That's the female mother goddess that's taking over the whole system. And it's the most evil thing there is. There it is. There it is. There's a sheep. Now, I'm going to let you guys take a look at some other pictures. We're just going to back that out. And then I'm going to go here. Now, can you see the sheep right there? <laughs> okay. Can you see the sheep right here? There you go. Okay. I took that black line out for you. See the mouth right here, nose, eye right here. Look at the ear right here. Top of the head right here. Now watch. Okay, so now let's see. 
Can you see the sheep right there now? See the dead sheep? Why is there a dead sheep on top of this guy's head wearing a damn mask? Why did the artist not finish his face like the rest of the body? Because it's true. That's why it's true. He's wearing a mask. Everyone's wearing a mask. What's really going on is there's a superhuman angel demon inside of everyone. Unless you get converted, you'll go to the pit. And that's what I've been telling you for a long time. And I can use the exact information the Lord's given me and use this statue and the statue next to it just to prove it. There it is, right in front of you. It's insane, right? You want to see a sheep? You want to see a sheep commercial? Okay, let's take a look at that again. There you go. Let's let's finish this off. Make sure there's no other pictures you need to see. You need to see them both together. Now you know what the story is. This beast was walking around in the host body system the whole time. There's the dead sheep. There's the sacrifice. See it right there, right on top of the head. And they're walking around masked as like man, but it was really a woman, uh, female energy, not a woman. Let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them, the host body system. But what started it was the twin female, the parthenogenesis, the twin female. So there's twin female. And then what do you get with the first two kids? Twin male. And so then you have a male and a female system. That's it. And one cannibalizes the other. Cainable, 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 cainable. Serpent eating its own tail. The serpent starts it. And then the angels that want to come in, come in, but you're hunted for dinner, just like YG's clothing line. Just like the, the Dr. Pepper commercial, it literally showed you the number six and then the letter A, 61. They put it right in front of your face. Hunted. You mean, you're being hunted. I think now would be a really good time for you guys to watch a sausage party trailer. Sausage party. Cause the whole world is a wiener party, sorry to say it, but that's it, watch. Okay, everything I've told you is in this one trailer. It's all in here, all of it. Welcome, shoppers. Ketchup, mustard, oh, sausages and buns. Boys. Hey, look at this! We've got one! Oh, yes. yes! We're chosen! Oh, yes! yes. Oh, yeah. 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 We've been chosen together! <laughs> hey, Brenda, you and me. I'm so happy that God's put our packages together. It's because we belong together. It's like we were made for each other. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Get ready, boys! Oh, feels amazing! Oh, yes! I'm the first to enter eternity! Oh, potato! Way to go, buddy! The pipes, the pipes are caught! Oh, Jesus! Fuck! Oh, gummy skin! She's peeling me what? fucking stuff! <laughs> Fuck! Try. Everyone will die otherwise. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Fuck me, right? Shake with your Run for your fucking lives! Ah. You. Overstated. Ah. Want to see that shit? It'll fuck you up for life. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. And uh, I'm sorry about playing the raunch thing, but I need to just cut to the chase and speak plainly. This is the whole story, guys. 
The Vatican has a dead sheep that's a penis and a vagina. Everything, sausage party, get it? Oh, they're eating children. What do you think they've been eating since the beginning of time? What do you think their food source is? You. Sausage party, get it? Now you've learned the horrible truth. Welcome to my world. Yeah, and I can prove it. So we're the food source. That's what the Bible says. I'm, a, I'm against you women. Ezekiel 13. I am against you women who hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. You know, like a wasp nest down in the pit. Okay, I'm going to let this video go up and then I'm going to do another one. <laughs> you guys, this crap is getting so insane. It's like, eh, okay, it's coming. I guarantee it's coming. The Lord has impressed upon me this tidal wave thing over and over and over again. And here it is again, recycling. It's coming.